This is the Angel's Sepulchre by Erastus Dow Palmer, and it is considered one of his masterpieces. Palmer was born in Western New York. He grew up on a farm, and he was self-taught as a sculptor. He had begun as a carpenter, and he had transitioned to doing some decorative carving, mantles, and so on, and he had seen images of cameos in a collection, and he thought, I can do this. So he did a cameo of his wife on an oyster shell, and he showed it to one of his clients who was a connoisseur of art and the client said you need to become an artist he said give up carpentry so palmer he began his career in utica and then he moved to albany where there was a greater audience for his work by the civil war he was going through a sort of depressed period the war itself was very very troubling to him and his artistic output started to suffer Towards the end of the war, though, he had been thinking about doing a monumental angel. It was a concept he played with for several years, and then a general, Robert Lennox Banks, who was a trustee of the cemetery, commissioned him to create a statue for the grave of his wife, who had died shortly after giving birth. And the result was this statue, the Angel at the Sepulchre, which was actually very controversial at the time because angels were meant to be very delicate, very feminine, they were supposed to be women in art and he had this very strong masculine angel and he defended his choice i mean he said no i mean in the bible you have jacob wrestling an angel that's not a feminine occupation and the other question people would ask was who was the model because this face is very handsome very beautiful and he said that he did not use a model for it that he just made it up out of his head but i've always personally thought that when you look at him from some angles it resembles Palmer himself. Get a mirror right here. I think it may have been, maybe not intentional, but I believe it is a self-portrait. In 2017, one of our volunteers, who is now a trustee, he cleaned it for us, and we're very thankful for that. So you use a lot of water, use a very special solution that's safe on marble called D2, and a lot of patience.